I am here with Carlo Pedrosoli Jr. Carlo, first of all, welcome back. And how did you prepare to face someone like Madars, knowing he's such an awkward striker, an awkward fighter in general? I know this guy, thank you for the interview. I know this guy was a, a huge opponent and uh, really prepared when he came to fight in the cage. Mm -hmm. So I did a perfect um, uh, camp with the best guys in Italy. And I was really, really prepared in cardio and uh, in endurance. So I was prepared for three rounds of battle. So when I saw the opportunity, I um, I make tight my teeth and try to to close the the submission. And it works. So I'm really, really happy to bring the victory here in Rome. And uh, maybe it's it's uh, an occasion for another event in Italy. Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, I'm really I'm really happy about that. You had a few guillotine attempts. Uh, did you feel in real dan danger at any point? Uh, to me, mm -hmm. uh, not really. I know the, uh, him. Uh, I know that he know to how to close a guillotine, but I'm really good uh, defending it. So maybe he attacks, but I know that it, it doesn't work because because I have the a good position in the side. Mm -hmm. uh, one time I I has to to give him my. My uh, the mount and uh, and then I go out, go out of the of the mount. But uh, the other times uh, I was uh, I was uh, one one hundred percent sure about uh, what what uh, I was doing. Mm -hmm. Sorry about my English. No, your English is good. And uh, your last outing with Cage Warriors, you defeated Nicholas Dalby, who then went on to win the interim title, which reopened the doors to the UFC for him. Uh, is this? Are you looking to follow his footsteps, basically? Of course, yes. Uh, um, he, his book, his book, because uh, his life is a book. Uh, is a real, real, um, um, uh, real uh, uh, teach for me because uh, every move of his career is uh, is awesome. And uh, he lost three fights mm -hmm. in the past, and the third was uh, the fight with me. And then he win three fights and go to the UFC and has a lot of win mm -hmm. in the UFC. So I, I'm, I'm now friend with him and I really watch him like a hero mm -hmm. because uh, I defeat him but it, it was a, a close close fight yeah, so maybe it's we do decision, right? yeah so maybe we do three other fights and he won he will win one and me one so is uh, we are good uh, good opponents and uh, I really make a huge uh, um, friendship with him yes. uh, the, uh, uh, before uh, after that fight. Mm -hmm. And we all love a good comeback story, let's face it. Yeah, of course, yes. And uh, the welterweight division obviously have changed quite quite a bit since you last appeared on the show. What do you make of it and where do you see yourself in the division at this point? I think uh, the, the welterweight division in Cage Warrior is close to the UFC welterweight division because the guys that are in the top, uh, they were uh, former uh, UFC fighters. Uh, so, so and then they come to to cage world. so a lot of experience a lot of ufc level so let's see i want to win more fight that i can uh, because i'm 20 now now and uh, i want to win a lot of fights and if i go to the title let's do it uh, i have to prepare for five rounds today i think i was prepared for five rounds because i have a lot of cardio and this guy is a huge opponent uh, because he have a, a lot of um, uh, of endurance and his uh, his rhythm is really high like mine so let's see let's see opponent by opponent if uh, go for the title yes why not nice well welcome back thank you for your time and congratulations thank you. again thank you